Russian President Vladimir Putin has amassed more than 150,000 troops at Ukraine's border. It's the largest military buildup since the end of World War II. And now those troops are moving into portions of Ukraine. But is it an invasion? And why does it matter what we call it? The two areas in question are Russian-backed separatist Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republic. On Monday, Putin recognized their independence and sent in troops for what he termed peacekeeping functions. Several nations, though the U.S. included, said this violated Ukraine's sovereignty and international law. Last month, President Biden had said, Any, any assembled Russian units move across the Ukrainian border, that is an invasion. But at first, it seemed unclear if the U.S. was going to call it an invasion because Russian troops have been in these areas since 2014. By Tuesday, though, President Biden stated clearly, He's setting up a rationale to go much further. This is the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. Calling it an invasion means those promised financial sanctions, including some on major Russian banks, have now been slapped on Russia with the goal of hitting the Russian economy in a way that would deter any continued invasion and spare the Ukrainian people any further bloodshed.